hello everyone this lecture about pest of goa right there are two pest categories one is sap feeder another one is borer pest or cause damage in a severe form in goa crop right let's see one by one first one is sap feeder that is t mosquito bug hello pentis antoni miride hemiptera here damage symptoms are both adult and nymphs feed on pto tender shoots and leaf veins that will cause the necrotic lesions and form a patches in leaf there are brownish black necrotic patches appear and with resin exclude from feeding punctures right okay there is a black punctures or black necrotic patches so peculiar symptom of t mosquito bug you can see the peculiar symptom of t mosquito bug in picture another one is blisters and scales or rusty khaki growth or scab formation on fruits widespread drying of shoots and inflorence flowers and shedding of fruits these are the special symptoms okay coming to the life stages here female insert 32 eggs into epidermis of tender shoots axis of inflorence and tender fruits here egg periods about 8 uh, days here egg elongated and slightly curved with a pair of filaments here nymphal periods about 14 to 16 days total life cycle completed in 22 to 25 days right what about management here we can go for pruning to regulate the shade to facilitate the proper penetration of sunlight inside the canopy and we can also go for monocrot of pause and carberry at a recommended rate you can see the different type of punctures caused to do by uh, puncture size caused to by the different nymphal instars like a first instar uh, nymph second instar nymph and third instar in that puncture size may vary based on the nymphal instar and coming to borer important borer pest that is fruit fly that is bactocera diversus tepridae diptera here maggots bore into the fruits and feed on soft pulp the infested fruit shows small cavity with dark greenish punctures okay dark greenish punctures and when cut open the wriggling maggots are seen inside the fruits the infestation cause rotting and dropping of fruits here egg laid on soft skin of fruits and the egg periods about 1 to 4 days maggot pale green and cylindrical in 5 to 8 mm in length and larval period about 4 to 5 days here maggot pupates in soil and pupal period about 2 weeks here adult smoky brown with greenish black thorax having a low marking coming to management here the simple collection and destroy the affected plant pods like fruits or the stems and some are plowed to expose and kill the pupa here harvest the fruits when slightly hard and green you can use the chemicals like fenvalerate or malathion or linden dust at the recommended rate and next borer is fruit borer viracola isocrates and rapala varuna both are fruit borer in uh, goa here viracola genus otherwise called as deodorex like any other family lepidoptera order here damage symptoms are bore inside the developed fruits by larvae and feed on pulps and seeds just before the rind exhibiting round or hole on fruits is so a first symptom second one is infested fruits are also attacked by bacteria and fungi which ultimately fall off and give on 
offensive smell. Shiny white oval shaped egg laid singly on calyx of flowers and on tender fruits. Here egg period about 7 to 10 days and larval period about 18 to 47 days and here caterpillars dark brown having short hairs and white patches all over the body and here larvae pupate inside the fruit okay pupate inside the fruit but occasionally outside even attaching themselves to stalk of fruits okay next one is pupil period 7 to 34 days here male adult look like glossy bluish violet whereas female is look like a brownish violet with orange patch on forehead here it undergo, undergoes the four generation per year you can see both the larvae and the adult of Piracola isocrates or Deodorex isocrates and next borer is capsule borer okay so host major host is castor castor capsule borer conochetus punctiferalis pyrastidae lepidopter here larvae bores into the young fruits which dry open and fall prematurely here bore holes plugged with excreta here egg laid on top leaf axis in florence tender part of plants and fruits here egg periods about one week here larvae pale reddish brown with numerous tubercles on body and larval period is about 12 to 16 days here pupation inside the fruit in silken cocoon and people period about 4 to 11 days and it is a medium sized bright orange yellow colored uh, with the numerous black Tots adult and life cycle completed in 25 to 33 days and we can go for light trap one per hectare or collection and destruction of damaged plant pots for managing the conochetus punctiferalis and we'll, we can also use malathion and dimethiot at recommended rate and mealybug is a ferricea virgata myconolicocos hirsutus pseudococcidae Hemiptera. Here both Ferricea virgata and Mechanolicacus irsutus will cause a particular damage on Gova crop. Okay, so second pest. Here both nymphs and adult suck the cell sap resulting in crinkling and yellowing of leaves and rotting of berries. Here female lays 350 to 500 orange colored eggs in loosey cottony terminal ovicide here a period about 5 to 10 days here crawler nymphs orange color and females and males with 3 and 4 nymphal instar respectively ok that means female having 3 instar male having 4 nymphal instar here both eggs and nymphs are an orange color ok adult female pinkish and sparsely covered with white wax and one generation per month but life cycle extend in winter month also for the management we have to debark the veins and swap the methyl parity and 1 ml per liter to minimize the population also go for dichlorovos or chloripyripos biprofacin methomyl with a recommended rate. You can also release the Australian ladybird beetle, Cryptolamus mantrosauri at recommended rate and conserved coccinellates, Simus craxivora and Lebopron predator that is Spalgis apis. And also avoid the spraying of the chemical the listed in this slide because they are toxic to predator. That's why we have minimized the chemical. Okay. Next one is spiraling white fly Alerodicus dispersus, Alerodidae hemiptera. For the effective management, we have to remove the 
do you remove and destruct the plant pots with their life stages of insect and remove the weed like abutilon, acaliba, euphorbia etc around the our orchard and I also use the sticky trap yellow sticky trap at 15 per hectare and I also release the chrysoperla carnea predator at 10,000 per hectare okay. Also go for predator likes Encarcia, Coxinellids, Chylochorus and Chylomeris. Okay. Also use the force and neat oil for the effective management. And here also we have avoid the synthetic pyrethroids and chemicals. And next one is bark caterpillar, Indarbella tetronis, Metarbellidae, Lepidopter. Here caterpillars bore into the trunk and the junction of branches make a zigzag galleries present of gallery made up of silk and frost this is a key symptom of bark caterpillar and go for management and here we kill the caterpillar by inserting iron rod into the tunnel and also injecting the ethylene glycol and kerosene oil in the ratio of 1 is to 3 into the tunnel by the means of syringe and then seal opening the tunnel with the mud and also dip a small piece of cotton in the any fumigant like a chloroform petrol kerosene and that introduce into the tunnel and we can seal the opening with the clear mud and last one is the uh, minor sucking pest that is scarlet mite brady pulpus phonicus tunipalpidae acari here might lay eggs on stalk of fruits calyx and leaves here both nymphs and adults suck the cells up from the fruit which resulting in browning browning of nodal regions and the appearance of brown patches on calyx and the surface of fruits in severe infestation the symptom cover the entire surface of fruits that leading to splitting of fruits okay here life cycle will completed in 22 days okay. can also go for any one of these systemic insecticide to control this scarlet mite here i end my presentation thank you